let's say we're using indirect bonding and let's say a bracket comes off. This is one of my most common questions. And you guys feel free to ask questions if you have them. Um, this is, I'll, I'll see what you do and I'll tell you what I do. But um, let's say like a few, I know you know how to free place, but what if a GP was kind of new and they were kind of scared? What would be a good idea to have the tray? Should they save it and section out that tooth and rebond it? That, that's a perfect way. So the history of indirect bonding was before they had the suck down machines or before they had um, um, suck down machines, they would make them with um, uh, like a PVS. Every, every tooth would have a jig. So before we had a continuous arch, uh, back in the 80s with indirect bonding, every tooth had a jig in a box in a case. So if yeah. you wanted upper right three, you would have a little small jig and the bracket would just go on. Little, and so some doctors would save that. And so if, if you're worried about bracket failures coming up, you can section it. And some people do that with Invisalign attachments as well, right? If you're yeah. okay, with the same concept, same principle, you just section it, mark out which ones, mark all the teeth. So if you can see like upper right six, upper right five. Oh, you mark them, you section them after you're done bonding just to keep it for convenience. And then you mark the Sharpie or something? Oh, uh, that's really smart. Put them, put them in a Ziploc bag with the patient's name on it. That's when they come back. That's super smart. That's so super do, smart. Yeah. The old school library card catalog, catalog holder. I put all mm -hmm. the A's in one tray, all the B's, all the C's by last name. When they come in, you get the library card catalog, take it out, and there's the bag is there with all the Ziplocs, and you can just pick it out and say, okay, upper right three came off, no problem. We'll just put it back in the tray, in the little jig, put it back where it needs to be, and you're done.